This 3D printer is a 3D printer which uses one nozzle and multicolor material. It's a very special 3D printer, but it switches the color while printing. The Cetus 2 from Tier 10. Here, Zachary's 3D prints. A closer look. This is the main video from the Kickstarter campaign. And what we already can see here is that it uses one single nozzle. Some other thing that I noticed that is that it uses linear rails to move the gantry over, in this case, the X axis. Then we have also the Y axis and it moves over the Z axis with the normal lead screw. As you can also see here, those are very thick linear rods to move the whole system up and down over the z-axis. Some other thing that I also see here is that they are using two separated hot ends with a shared heat break and also the heater block and one single nozzle. So this is the nozzle that is going to be used for both different kind of material. As you can also see on one side here, you see one heater cartridge and on the other side i think it's also a heater cartridge it's heated on both of the heater block it's a what i already said the machine looks small but it is actually quite big if you know that the printing volume is 200 by 300 times 300. it's from tier time very stable brand also in this case i wonder why they're using kickstarter for backing this project it's a very very compact design, not using too much materials. It looks like they are using aluminum extrusions for the X-axis carriage. They use, I think, a 2020 aluminum extrusion. And for the Y-axis, they use a 2040 aluminum extrusions. However, if you look very closely, it doesn't look like it is. Si I think it's something similar like that. A big touchscreen. I think it was also mentioned that it is an OLED LCD touchscreen, a normal SD card instead of a micro SD card. So that is also a very nice benefit of this machine. So this is the whole system. So within the heater block, you see that two materials are going to be merged together. In the nozzle, it's going to be switched from the color, in this case, color blue to yellow or from yellow to blue. And as you can see, it's had it has two different kind of paths. Just like mentioned, this is one room for a heater cartridge and on this side as well. So this is how the system works. There's also a strain gauge. I don't know if it is the strain gauge system, but the nozzle tips to the build plate and then that point is leveled and then it continues with the other, I think 25 points or 16 points because the bed is 200 by 300. So very nice looking screen. I like this kind of screen. It's big. So in this, this kind of way, quick switching means that you can go over from one color to another color just using the software from this 3D printer. 50 to 50 blend material and color. It's not only using two different kind of colors, PLA, PLA, but blended material. I think also using PLA and PVA for example, or PEG with PVA or some other materials as well. That is a very cool thing from then. I think this, this is a very nice system. So and as you can also see, uh, nowadays you see a lot of filaments using two separate colors. I'm going to use these cubes to show this as an example. So on one side of the filament is white and on the other side is gray. And when it is going to be printed in one angle, it looks white and on the other angle, it looks more grayish. They are doing the same kind of thing, but then having two different kind of filaments to do this. You, you will see what I mean. It looks purple on one, one angle and yellow on the other angle. Multi-material printing, like mentioned. And here you also see the color blending between the transparent or the matte color and the black. Dedicated software, let's talk about that. Because you are using the UpStudio 3, what you can see here, having the possibility to use already developed software for this Cetus 2, I think that's a very nice thing. It's a very solid base. So one thing that I always see in those Kickstarter campaign videos or in those kind of videos that people are going to sit like this 
you know, have some rest because you don't have to worry about this 3D printer. It will do it all by itself. You sliced it, the model is done. I don't know what else you have to do. Once you see it, you will always see it. Trust me. So I don't think that this is the best quality. I think this machine definitely would need to have some tweakings. If you get some color mixing like this, I think that this already looking amazing. They also talked that you can put, like you can see a PNG file or maybe some other files as well, a JPEG or something, and you put it over a model. How wonderful is this to do? Have an existing model and just put a PNG file over it and print it. I mean, wouldn't that be great? So like shown here, a little hand with the Spider-Man logo printed over it, supporting various filaments. That's what it says, different kind of materials. I don't know what this toothbrush was made from, but it seems flexible. But then on the other side, you see the Harley Davidson M emblem and that is I think TPU. So different kind of materials is supported by this 3D printer that is looking very nice. Also multicolor printing. If you want to do the latest trend something like this would fit right in there. There you have the nice soldier mask from the Squid Game. A printed bowl with some water soluble material printed on the Cetus 2. Very nice. Very awesome looking dual slider linear rail as mentioned. Great quality, very stable as well. A great choice. So for that reason, on one side, I would say that this is a 2040 aluminum extrusion. I think they took the paint off because I see here black and also a very thick linear rods used to give this machine a high stability. If I'm looking to the lead screw, it looks like a normal lead screw, but I have the idea that this is a ball bearing lead screw. So this could be a much better, much more quality. So TMC silent stepper drivers, I think that if you are now bringing out a 3D printer in this world and you still are using an 8-bit board, I think if you're doing something like that, I think that this so last 2021, right? I mean, why would you? One little concern that I have is the uses of the ribbon cables. As you can see, there is one here i hope to your time that you are going to change this because this is going to cause eventually into a problem the thicker one i don't really think so also the tension on it so <laughs> encoder based filament sensor encoder based so it's not a normal filament run out sensor i think filament run out sensor anyway so it's a different kind of system don't you hate it when you are printing with a brand new spool of filament and it gets tangled and you cannot print any further and you get a fail print, well, this machine will cover that as well. So it stops printing and you have the possibility to take it off and then start the print further. So that is awesome. But I hope that the print bed will heating or else your print will pop off and then you have a fail print anyway. So a lot of things you can print on this machine, different kind of materials, different kind of colors. So that is a very amazing. This Kickstarter campaign is on. I think we are going to see more of this 3D printer. It already has met the goal way over that even. I will put the link for the Kickstarter campaign in the description of this video. And tell me what do you think about this 3D printer on Kickstarter? And just like mentioned, it's a Kickstarter campaign. You can lose your money. It's not a website where you can buy a 3D printer, but knowing Tier Time, Tier Time is a well established company. Like mentioned, I don't know why they're using Kickstarter, but, anyways. I think that this 3D printer is looking amazing. There are some things that I really would like to see being changed like the tiny ribbon cable that is sticking out, you know. But in general, this is an amazing looking 3D printer. It's not what we have seen before. Seeing something different, isn't that what we all want anyways? Also the color mixing, it's, it's a very nice feature. And thank you so much for watching this video. And many thanks for my Patreon supporters, Lawyer Moses, The Lightspeed, Fixing Dude, Carl Fenton, you are all amazing. You can also support this YouTube channel by checking the Patreon link in the description of this video and becoming a patron of this YouTube channel. I want to do more things in the future, but that I will leave on a later stage. Thank you for that. 
and I will see you next time. And hey, let's make awesome things with 3D printing. Zachary, 3D prints. Bye-bye.